Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the evolution of Samsung devices. This is the well known to you Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. There are lots of reviews with it, we talk about this device, it is a fantastic device. And this is the way it looks. Pretty good design. The IR sensor, camera, flash, everything you expected from a phone. And speaker is here, normal micro USB port, power on power off button here, volume buttons on this side, and micro SD, sorry, the SIM card slot in here. This device here is the A5 2017, released, well, this year, but built last year the end of last year. Both devices are running the same operating system, so I'll show the difference in a bit. But let's see the design again on top. Why should I do it like this? Of course this is Edge, this is not, but I'm not going to compare this now. You can see on top is pretty much the same, there is no infrared sensor here. Volume on, uh, volume down, volume on buttons here. Power button here, but on the A5 we have the speaker just above the power button and we have USB Type-C nice improvement the other thing that really it's really good you barely can feel the edges of the button here you can actually see it it's about one millimeter up from the panel and the camera is almost hidden as you can see here that is the S6. I mean, that's ridiculous. Absolutely flat surface, and then you have this camera. I don't know why, but yeah, this is an old device by tech standards. So yeah, well done Samsung in terms of evolution. In terms of software, always on display wasn't very useful. You were able to see what's the date, what's the time, and that's it. Here, as I said, they are both running the same operating system, Android 6. As you can see, there is a little notification here. And if you double tap it, it will send you straight to the app. Pretty useful. Yeah, asking for permissions because it's a new device, still playing around with it. So, the software on this one looks pretty much like Android 7 on Galaxy S7 Edge with some small differences. So if you watched the previous video comparing S6 with the S7, you know what the Android 7 looks like on Galaxy S7 Edge. So let's see, let's start with this. Let's show the OS versions. As you can see, they're both the same. As I understand the things, they both should have exactly the same user interface. This device is powerful enough to support this interface, but for some reason, Samsung decided otherwise. So, notification area. Samsung introduced the blue light filter in here and secure folder as well. Very different, different icons, different style. I like this one. Also, you now can control the torch, or at least you can control it on S7, you can control the torch power, which is nice, nice to have. So this is the notification area, let's take a look in the settings menu. List view on both of them, but more info here, so you actually know what you're going to find, and nice addition is this. When you scroll all the way to the bottom you can see looking for something else and then some suggestions. Nothing like this in here. This is the way it looks on Android 7 for Samsung S7. I'm not sure if that's the, the way it's going to look on this device but we should know in a few days I hope. So yeah again different style different style in displaying whatever is in the settings menu. You have 
this nice little addition here, device maintenance. Again, you have this in Android 7 as well. You can check the battery status, everything is listed different. Different modes for power saving, storage, RAM, device security. You have all this here, but it looks way different and you don't have this device maintenance software or addition. You have the smart manager thing. This one is a way better in my opinion, but that's me. So yeah, well done Samsung. Two years between these two devices, or actually three years now I believe. I need to double check when S6 Edge was released in the UK. But yeah, well done. And this is the expensive one. It was a flagship I believe. And this one is sort of the budget version. Because A series is not the top notch. Pretty good though very fast but yeah the things i like about this one speaker is here you cannot feel the fingerprint sensor in the bottom and the camera is well hidden powerful camera 16 megapixels on this one i believe that will be it for this video it's just to show the difference between samsung devices in separated by few years well done samsung again and we hope to see Android 7 on both devices. I'm really keen to see what will be the new thing here because, as I said, the user interface is already there. So, come on. Let's see. And uh, one more thing, actually. Let's see the camera apps. Lots of difference again. So, you can change different modes here by just sliding this way. You can select filters or effects, as they call them. And you can turn to selfie camera swiping up and down and you can see my S7 Edge which I'm using to shoot this video and this one is easier to use it's faster here you need to click this and then select the mode so one more action if you're in a hurry you just want it straight there of course you have the settings pane with some useful info there and yeah let's not make this video very long that's it for now if you want other comparisons of course put this in the comment section and we will make this for you as long as they are not hit it with a hammer and stab it with a knife if you're interested in guys in these kinds of videos just check our channel there is one for you thanks for watching oh that's a long video and see you next one bye bye